Hi guys, Retro Jingo here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a look at one of my Amigas, and this one has got the Cyberstorm MK2 with 68,040 CPU that runs 40 megahertz, and it has got. I think it has got 64 megabytes of RAM. I'm not sure, but we can check it out in Workbench and uh, make a sysinfo. Now, furthermore, um, it has got 16 gigabyte compact flash card. Really nice. It has got two megs of chip RAM, of course, and on board 16 megabytes of RAM. Now, I made another Amiga 4000 video recently, and um, you guys, uh, you guys asked me about. It does the motherboard uh, do do it need to have a uh, fast RAM on the motherboard uh, when you have all the RAM <laughs> on the Cyberstorm card? Well, um, yes, you do actually because the Mega Four Thousand, if it at least at least just put in four megs of fast RAM, then it it works much better. I don't know why something with the chips. I don't know, but. I have found out if you just put in 4 megs of fast RAM, then the scores will be higher. It, it, it's odd because you should think that the um, the RAM here on the CPU card, they will be the first ones used, but uh, yeah. So, I mean, I just fully populated with 16 megabyte. <laughs> so let's enter Workbench and let's make some tests. Guys. All right, we're, we are in Workbench now. Now the as you can see, DF0, DF1 not installed, but that's because they're over here. We got a DVD ROM, this drive, original Amiga 4000, the high density, or what's it called. I just installed an, a, a Gojek drive on my Amiga 4000. I think they're pretty cool, and, and I was like, yeah, why not? It looks great, but I have to say, <laughs> Having a compact flash card, I have used it. I've never used it actually. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's just there guys. So yeah, that's why we got these question marks. But as you can see, we got two megs of chip RAM. Yep, it's readable. And 99 megabyte of fast RAM. So this is an 040. So let's just enter programs here. 040, but still so fast. I mean, I also have other Cyberstorm cards with 060, but I mean, this is great. I just found out about how easy it is to upgrade this Cyberstorm card. I mean, you have to, um, <clears throat> what was it? You have to move two resistors and make a jumper cable and just check out the 040 and put in an 060. That should be it. <laughs> and install the 68060 libraries and all that. But yeah. So let's just make a speed test on this one. So the 68060 scores 37,000 dry stones and 040 scores 28,000 dry stones. The 060 is 70, time, 70 times faster than Amiga 600. This one is 54. I mean, still, it's just so fast. It's just numero uno, as you can see. We got 44 megahertz. We got FPU built-in. We got MMU in use. All right. <laughs> so it's a fast fast Amiga with this expansion guys. I love these Cyberstorm cards and 2 megabyte chip, AGA chipset. Oh yes. As you can see if we expand, yeah. As you can see this is the ratings for an Amiga 4000, 68040, 25 megahertz and we are 1.58 times that speed because we are running 40 megahertz and we have onboard RAM directly on the CPU board important very important F uh, 30 mips nice let's check out the memory so the cyberstorm card has got 80 megabytes of fast ram real nice 82 <laughs> and 60 megabyte fast ram it's 
on board, as I said earlier, at least put in 4 MB of fast RAM. The Amiga 4000 just works better. I don't know, I can't explain why, but I'm sure some of you guys know why. <laughs> and of course, 2 MB of cheap RAM. Yeah. If we take board. Next. And my favorite part. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm pretty obsessed with this, the drive reading speed, because 2.2, um, that's nice. Because I uh, recently I tried the Keeper 2K on my Mega 500 and the reading speed was 0 0.6 megabytes per second. And it was, it was, uh, I, I don't want to say unusable slow, but it was, it was really slow guys, I mean, yeah. So I found out that this drive reading speed is really important. So 2.2, that's nice. Yeah, 2.299, real nice. And if we, um, I mean, if we just play around in, in, uh, in Workbench, let's try. Pro tracker here. What was it? What was it there? Um, not there. Oh, it's so long time ago. Here we go. Yeah, it works. Everything was so so smooth. It's 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 really nice. Let's just try a game also. Let's reboot, guys. All right, guys. Let's just select a game. Chaos Engine. Canon Fora. That should be. Oh, civilization. No, colonization. Let's try. Colonization AGA from 1995. The O40 processor is not as compatible as the O30, I know, but still, it's it's much faster in the menu, in Workbench. I I really love using it, but I mean, why not the O60? So recently, I made some different videos with these uh, different Amiga processors and. I've been asked, what's the best processor? What's your favorite and all that? And okay, for gaming with discs, the O68000 or O10 is just perfect. All right. <laughs> oh, Terminator. But for WST load gaming, I mean, I, I will say O20 is compatible, but the sweet spot is the O30. But as I said earlier, the O40 is just so much faster, and the o, but it's not as compatible. The same happens with the O60. It also has some compatibility issues when you want to play WST load games. But I mean, there, I don't think there's much difference in compatibility uh, between the O40 and the O60. So I will say the sweet spot, O30. But if I should choose the next one, it will be the O60. Maybe I have revision one, but if you buy revision six, it runs so cool. Uh, every revision is it is got optimized. Um, so the O40, this CPU. It needs to have active cooler on. I mean, my O60, it, it can run without no cooler, no active, no passive cooler. Still runs cool, but the O40, this CPU, I will upgrade it because, of course, I use cooling on my all my uh, Cyberstorm cards, but I would say the third in the middle is probably. The O40. Now, no hate. <laughs> if you use an O40, 
more power to you. You know me, I have no hate in me, no envy, no nothing. It's great, but if it's possible, upgrade to an 060. It costs about 100 euros and it's just a great upgrade. Runs cooler, same compatibility issues. So why not just have something that runs cooler, that works faster. So it's just a, <laughs> you know, <laughs> how it is. Yeah, so this is just a quick review of the old 40 guys and um, yeah, works great. So another day we will make another video. I mean, it, it's really responsive. Really nice CPU. I mean, I have recently worked with an Amiga 1200 onboard O O20. <laughs> this is what happens when you use an O40, guys. <laughs> yeah. If you use 020, 030, it will run perfect. Yeah. Compatibility issues, guys. So you can actually disable some, uh, you can disable caches and all that. You, you can make it work, but yeah. Oh, shot at least. There we go. Uh, you can make it work, uh, you, there are some tweaks, some tricks you can use, but yeah, the O40, O60 has got some compatibility issues, so you have to, yeah, think about that also. <laughs> but again, the sweet spot is... Ow! <laughs> Rather than choose this one. <laughs> As you can hear, it... Just choose a game that just works. Alien Breed, AGA version, that will work. Alien, Alien Bash. Alien Breed, horror continues. AGA. Alright, I hope this one. I think this one runs fine. Actually, my main Amiga 4000, it runs with an 030 CPU. Some say it's blasphemy, but... Yeah. It's just so much. It's just compatible. There we go! <laughs> well, now you can see some of the games, they won't they won't, they won't load. And other games, they will run much, much faster. And yeah, but still, I love the Cyberstorm. I love the 060 CPU. I mean, more power to all your all your users of the um, yeah upgrade Amigas, and I love the original hardware. Don't get me wrong, I like all the new stuff that are coming out, and it's it's just great that we keep these Amigas alive. But I mean, there's just nothing like the original hardware. This is just hardcore man and that it still works after 25 30 years it's just awesome and it's awesome that we're still alive guys <laughs> so uh, until next time check some of my other videos and have some fun watching some retro stuff have a nice day guys bye